and I'm her mama, and you might remember us from the hit reality show, Precious Plum, which was a hit. It's been a while since you've seen us, but we back! That's right, we're here to recap some of the best episodes of our favorite web series. Hot ones! No, baby, Precious Plum. I mean, yeah, okay, our, our favorite web series is, it is Hot Ones. Y'all, y'all ever see Hot Ones? Could, could we recap Hot Ones? In the first ever episode of Precious Plum, Plum killed a dog. On accident. Still something you gotta live with, though. My name is Plum, I'm six years old, and I'm a beauty queen. My mama take me around the pageant. Suck my dick! She my Precious Plum. Today, Plum competed to be Little Miss Tiny Tits in the parking lot of Waffle House outside Chunky, Mississippi. We got a 52 hour drive ahead of us. So it's like, fuck. All right, let's go. Come on, we're gonna be late in your car seat. Yeah. Get in your car seat, young lady, let's go. No, it's covered in ticks. What do you mean it's covered? Oh my god. Plum took a big old shit in her car seat yesterday, so I put it out in the field to air wash, and lo and behold, fucking ticks. But we don't have any time to do anything about it. Mm-mm. So she's just gonna get ticks. My blood tastes like monkey bars. My leg cramped something fierce. Plum, baby, come up here and take the wheel. You gotta drive, baby. I I gotta stick my melon out through the moon top, stretch my gams. Ooh. Oh, oh, that feel good. No swerving now. No swerving. Straight as the gaze ain't. No swerving, no swerving. <gasps> swerve, 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 swerve. So, we hit a dog. I made a dog, Dad. <laughs> That's a messy diddy doggy. It was one of them big old honking dogs too, like a werewolf or something. Couldn't just leave it there in the street for people to see what we did, so we took it with. Mama, I can't breathe over it. You got a nose, don't you? I don't want to smell it, though. You got to smell it. I don't want to! You got to smell the dead dog, honey. You hit the dog, you made the dog dead, now smell the dead dog. You got to smell the goddamn dog you don't did dead. That's just called responsible. Are you smelling it? No! I swear to God, precious plum, you do not smell that dog. I will hit another dog and pile it on top, you understand? I will murder a second dog and pile it on top of the first murder dog. Are you smelling it? Yeah. How's it smell? Bad. That's right. So we made it to the pageant, but Plum didn't play, so she's a little bummed. But for every black cloud, there's a little white neighborhood. The ticks pick the dog. That's right. There are no more ticks. Stay on the dog now. All right, come on, baby. Let's air wash you. Next time on Precious Plum. As a parent, you got to answer some difficult questions. Mama? Yeah, baby. Where do babies come from? Dicks and pussies. Fun fact about uh, about that dead dog, um, we threw it off a bridge. Well, I guess, I guess it's not that fun. But it did make a fun splash, though. <laughs> it did make a fun splash. Yeah. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> now, a lot of y'all been asking me, hey, mama, how does air washing work? Well, I'm going to teach you right now, step by step. Okay, ready? Step one, put it out. Ain't that going to be a step? Ding, laundry's done, you're folding. Little production trivia for y'all. Um, we had a great director on that episode. Nice guy, good guy, English guy. Um, he quit uh, immediately because he said we was morally repugnant. Mama, what's morally repugnant mean? I do not know. I do not know. Does anyone have an English to American dictionary, please? Now, in this next episode, I get Plum a new pet. It's a bat. But people say bats don't make good pets. That's right. You. Gotta listen to people. My name is Plum, I'm six years old, and I'm a beauty quack. My mama drove me around a patch. I think I might be giving birth. She's my precious Plum. Today, Plum's competing to be America's next top slut one day in the windmill of a mini golf course in Dicktown, New Jersey. And a one, and a two, and a jump, jump, split. Oh, mama, that hurts my pussy. Well, now we even. Mama, I'm 
My mama said when I learned the dance, she's going to get me a dog. Yeah, I just said that as a lie. But then I heard something flapping around in the fireplace, and I put a shoebox to it, and boom, a fucking pet. Surprise, plumbers. It's a dog? It's a bat. A bat, but I wanted a dog. Well, you can name it whatever you want. You want to name it dog? Go right ahead. Dog the bat? Dog the bat. I'm going to take you for a walk, no, dog no, the bat. No, no, no. So I got this thing where I don't like being in cars with bats. So plumbing me, we got the heck out of there. But then I realized with a big fuck, we ain't got no kids. Oh, eat my asshole. So mama and I played a game called Break the Window. Oh, shit. Fucking shit. Piece of shit. Shit on me, pocket bag. We lost. All right, Plan B. I'm gonna lower in through the moon top, Mission Impossible style. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go, Plum. One, two, three. I got him. Okay, come on out. I'm stuck. Fucking another bag. So Plum got her fat ass stuck in a moon top. But do Olympic cripples stop running? No. They start wheeling. They start wheeling around like a fucking freak show. And a one, and a two, and a jump, jump, split. Ow, oh, my pussy! What? I didn't even touch you that time. So, plumbed in place because apparently I'm a monster. But at the end of a long day, we just happy for some peace and quiet. We've had a lot of pets, huh, Mom? Mm -hmm, that's right, babe. We had that bat. Uh, we had a raccoon, uh, two rats, uh, a lobster I stole from Red Lobster. Uh, more cockroaches I could even see. Lice? Uh, <laughs> no, baby, you do, you do not have lice. Oh, my God. Some of y'all keen observers, uh, you might know us. I drive a Lexus. How do you drive a Lexus, Mama? Okay, we're just, we're not, not that big of a deal. Um, I've got on Craigslist. Some guy was selling on Craigslist for like, it was something totally reasonable, like $15,000, um, this dude in Tarzana. Um, and I stole it. Now, plum and me, we gonna teach you the many uses of the phrase, fuck a bang. Something bad happened? Fuck a bang. Something good happened? Fuck a fancy bag. Someone trying to pull a fast one on you? Don't fuck me in the bag, tell me it's groceries. It's a versatile phrase. In this next episode of Precious Plum, plum and me get real sick. And I had on my shots of everything. Oh, what, y'all y'all think I'm some kind of anti-vaxxer? <laughs> I may be dumb, but I'm not an idiot. <laughs> my name is Plum, I'm six years old, and I'm a beauty quack. My mama drove me around a patch. Make your fucking booty! She's my precious Plum. Today, Plum's competing to be Kilf in a dug up pet cemetery in Hell, Michigan. We ain't got no AC, so we as hot as the devil's dick pit. Oh! Oh, that is nice! Mama, you said we was going to a water park. It is! Look at you got your water, you got your park, you got your careful sign. There's a dead squirrel over there. What? He's just doing the backstroke. He's just raising all the other squirrels. Look at him. Go, squirrel one! Go, squirrel one! Go, squirrel one! We weren't long out of the water before we came down with a bad case of the barks. We was barfing on the ground, we was barfing on ourselves, we was barfing on each other. I was barfing on my butt. Oh, Plum, you made me giggle. No. She's talking about them diarrheas. Quiet! It hurts to hear! Now, I do not believe in doctors. I believe in holist, homo, homo, holocaust, uh, omelets. Natural medicines. So we went to a psychic. Are we gonna die? I can see that y'all are real sick. She's good. No, I can see it with my face. What? You're not even gonna look to your crystal ball. Okay, all right. Maybe y'all leave and get some medical attention. Who am I to argue with Dustin? Then I remember to 
song my mama taught me. If mama find her gas shop by gun, pick up the phone and dial 911. Are we gonna be okay? We'll see. Y'all are riddled with toxic waste. Are we gonna be okay? It's hazy. Give me 20 more dollars. They strapped us in and we drove around real, 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 real fast. It was just like a water park. See? what I tell you? It's like I'm a psychic myself. I'm gonna fart right now. Oh, my butt barked. Mom, but which one of them squirrels ended up winning that race? Oh, baby, um, well, as it turns out, um, they was all tied up for dead last. Man, that psychic was right. We sure did need medical attention. Yeah, she nailed it. You see what we did there? Nicole Byer, do you see what we did there? Nicole Byer, who played our psychic, please like and retweet. Here's uh, here's some fun What Are They Now trivia for you. Um, ever since I stepped in that toxic waste, my feet glow in the dark. Yeah, and I'm infertile. That's probably for the best. Now in this next episode of Precious Plum, Plum and me go to the hospital. A hospital? That's boring. Well, 3.8 million viewers disagree, bitch. My name is Plum, I'm six years old, and I'm a beauty quack. My mama drive me around a pack. Well, we's in a lake. She's my precious Plum. Today, Plum's competing me Little Miss Skittle Nips in a car wash when it's not going in Dildo Canada. About the dog don't bit my neck. I knew something was wrong when she was foaming at the mouth like she just brushed her teeth. I know she ain't never did. Observant. Hey. Hi. Uh, My daughter, she got an all been bit by a bat. A bat? Dog. Okay, wait, so a dog? Yeah, bat the dog. Oh, okay, I see. A dog named Bat. Excuse me. Yeah. Take them words. 69. So now I'll take a pill for no rabies and a pill for no babies. What? I know she's fucking. When Plum was getting her rabies shot, I saw a sign that said $10,000 for eggs. So I said to myself, fuck a fancy bag. I set myself in on for an interview. So why do you think you'd be a good candidate for egg donation? I got him, you want him, I need cash, you got it, let's do this, I gotta be somewhere else. Well, it's a lengthy process. We usually require our donors be in optimal health. Oh, I am healthy. Hey, Plum. What? How much yogurt I eat? A lot of yogurt. I had like a whole thing of yogurt on the way here. Okay, well, it's a surgical procedure. We put a needle through okay. your cervix. I'm gonna stop you right there. Um, see, I just assume that, um, Someone gonna be uh, going down on me and like scraping them out tongue ways. If you wanna contribute, and I recommend you do, uh, I would suggest donating blood. So we went on over to the blood drive and they didn't give me no $10,000, but they did give me a cookie. And it was a good cookie too, Window Plum. Double chocolate chip. That's right, just like I like my man. Two black guys. What'd you say, Mom? I said two black guys. So I went again and again and again. Didn't I just give you a cookie? No, I just got them faces. And I don't know if it was all the cookies I ate or if it was a gallon of blood that I lost or what, but by the time I got back in the car, I felt like a fucking ghost. Mama, you look sick. What? Sick? I'm not sick, Plum. You all buckled up? Yay. Okay, let's listen to tune. <laughs> I just hit a wall. Um, emotionally, physically, actually, um, it's what I did. Uh, the good thing is I drove right in the hospital. So they just set me up in a bed right there. And when I needed blood, guess whose blood they gave me? My cells. It's like mama blood went on vacation. No more cookies for me. It is healthy from here on out. Hey Plum. What? Hand me that yogurt. Here you go, mama. Mmm, thank you. Mmm, tastes like a sit up. So, uh, so at the beginning of that last episode, uh, we was in a lake, which, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's actually a really funny story. Uh, Plum, Plum, you tell it best. We drove into a lake. So, maybe I had to, had I been there. By the way, um, my eggs are for sale. Now, I am very fertile. I would have another one, um, but you know what I say. <laughs> First time's a curse. In this next episode, I'll get glamour shots. Speaking of which, my, my lighting ain't feeling too good. Can, we just, can someone build a proper Kino house around here? I see we have a decent fill, but I'm feeling a little neg space here. My name is Plum. I'm six years old. I'm a beauty quack. My mama drive me around a patch. I should not have sold all our clothes. She's my precious plum. We was out buying bad food for dog because he's been real sick. We saw a coupon for free glamour shots. Trouble is, Plum's got a loose tooth. And that's not glamorous, that's glamour less. Listen to her vocab. She gonna make a book. All right, is it on there? I think so. Okay. Mama gonna drive away. Once she do, your tooth gonna come with. Mama, I'm scared. Don't be scared, baby. I know they're going bad happen. All right. Ready, Plum? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, no. Her tooth did come out. And so did a whole bunch of her other tooths, too. So, mission two accomplished, I guess. Plum, are you alive? Are you mad at me? I didn't mean it. I swear. Does this mean I'm gonna get a visit from the big man? I don't have time for all that Tooth Fairy, Santa, Easter Bunny nonsense, so I just call them all the big man. The big man! Yeah! Yeah, he, the, the big man, he gonna break in, and he gonna, he gonna take them teeth, and he gonna leave nothing. I look like one of them scary pumpkins. Oh, here, baby, suck on this. What is it? It's a pussy mop. A push pop? That's what I said. Now, I'm not covered for dental or health or car. I only got tornado insurance, okay? Because it's like, have you ever seen Twister? Fuck that shit. So, we went to the store to see what teeth we could find. These could be teeth. Hey, Mama, look it. Oh, my little girl turned into a full-grown Dracula lady. All right, little miss, now give us a big smile. Ah, uh, okay, uh, does she want to take out the vampire teeth first? I'm afraid that's the only tooth you have at the moment. All right. Okay. Well, uh, three, two. Okay. Yikes. Wow. I think she's bleeding at the gums. Uh oh. Ah. Very bad. What's in the shoebox? Plum, don't. What are you sick? Oh, there's a bat in the shoebox. Oh God, this is terrifying. <laughs> In the end, some of them photos weren't too glamorous, but we did get a good photo of saying, come Christmas. Think the big man's gonna like that plum? Yeah, he's gonna come to our house, he's gonna eat our cookies, and he ain't gonna leave us nothing. <laughs> you can count on that. Now, Plum, she 12 now, so um, she don't uh, no longer believe in the big man. Yeah, turns out his mama gave me nothing the whole time. That's right, baby. Mm. Mm. Now, um, I still do not have health insurance, or car insurance, uh, or dental, but I do have alien abduction insurance, because, um, y'all seen Arrival? Yeah, I ain't talking circles with nobody. People was real mad when I backed over my daughter and knocked out all her teeth, but, um, the teeth just grew right back. Yeah, but then the second time. Yeah, the second time that happened was a much, a much bigger problem, yes. That's it for the best of Precious Plum. Stay tuned for the worst of Precious Plum. We're not doing that. That's a good call, Sam. That's a, that's a good call. Hey, it's Grant from College Humor. Click here to subscribe to the channel. Click here for more fun stuff. And, sorry, guys, it feels like I'm out. Am I out? I, Cause I can like, I can see the top of the camera. So it's, I, it, I, is this better? All right, it, it feels worse. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.